What's up again guys? Yeah, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Dovahkiin and welcome back to Let's Play Mutant Year Zero. And uh, before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. The previous vid was about food. Well, rather the optional map Isa and Fala. Today's map is part of the main quest, Rescue Hammond who is a captive further down south at the Spear of Heaven. And without further ado, let's begin. I heard of these before. Never saw them. Weird how they're all connected. They got wheels. A lot of them. These things moved? Something's not right here. These ghouls were ripped apart by the fangs of his own dog. Let's make sure we're not desert. Eliminating this zone dog is Dawani. If you ambush the main group of ghouls without taking down this mutt, though it seems it's safe to do so because he's far away, but not, he will alert the mother zone dog, and that ghoul fight will turn into absolute chaos. By the way, I will use Hug Rush to prevent him from calling his mother. This is practically the best early game armor, because uh, besides avoiding tanks' charge attacks, you'll be godlike against zone dogs, and I'm gonna put it on Borman. Damn! 
Some dogs. They're smaller and you know, they're dumber too. We got the weapons. So a dog's got weapons. The coolest we are the king of the zoo. Come on, man. Then go to the zoo, dog, and tell him to his face. You want to get eaten like Skeezel, Bam Bam, and Treepo? Go for it. <laughs> go ahead. Get it, Claus. A string of metal blooms linked together. Can't make tusks or tails out of this. A little too claustrophobic for my tastes. Okay, I'm gonna use Magnus on this battle for his puppeteer. Anyway, I've dismantled my two stingers in the state switcher to level up my Rambino and Boomstick to two. By the way, the slinger, which I got from the previous episode, makes the state switcher obsolete. Now, my strat. Normally, the shaman is the prio target, cause uh, you know, she will summon. Anyhow, I think the shaman here is a wabbit, cause of the feminine voice. Anyway, you can cast an early puppeteer on the tank to disable the shaman. But, since my squad's position is very far away from her, there'd be no way to do follow-up attacks. Even grenades won't reach them, and she'd still be alive to summon once the tank's mind control wears off. So, I'm just gonna let her summon. After all, my squad's high ground position is the best tactical spot for turtling. And the primary group of ghouls are gonna be dead even before her summons reach us. I'm still gonna use Puppeteer on the tank, but on my second turn, cause uh, by that time, the Shaman and Butcher would have moved closer to my position, thus within range of my weapons. Alright, let's do some turtling.
much. As I'd planned. Precisely, old woman. Couldn't have said it better myself. Come on, let it be something good. As I've said in episode 3, the summoned units of shamans like the Mother Zone Dog here don't provide kill EXP. So, same strat. Take it down before it can even summon. But as you can see, she has quite the HP. So, like what I did to the Zone Dog earlier, stun her with Hogmarsh. And don't worry about Borman, cause he's wearing the Axe Warrior armor. As long as he's the closest one to the uh, dogs, he will be their target, and the rest of your squad will be safe. By the way, I've reinstated Dunks, and Selma is armed with a new Rambino, my favorite gun so far. Wait here.
something that was simply godlike. What do these freaks want? What is this weapon they were talking about back there? I heard the stories about these guys. They were supposed to be searching the ruins of the ancients, searching for, I don't know, magic relics. Dangerous relics. This shit gives me heartburn. Do these relics happen to kill large amounts of people? Okay, as promised. This map's loot recap. And that is all there is for now. Thanks for watching. Also, check out other videos from Sabbath Man Philippines and don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next vid. Peace out, y'all.